want to take your shoes off because you want to be respectful. And you're like, oh, now I got this big old boot. And I go, oh, oh. Here's my solution. This is a mule. Not only do you get the ease of a slip-in, but when you're wearing this with a flare or bootleg pant, it's going to look like a little shoe booty. And it is going to be one of the most comfortable heels because it's Vince Camuto, always steeped in great leather, gorgeous craftsmanship. So this is either a leather or a suede. We'll show you the difference. In a ruched mule, which you can only do this if you're using some of the finest leather. I have it in black. We do have whole and half sizes. The color that I have on is this like reshi, reshi. It's a mushroom, but it's a really pretty brown. And then I have the ivory multi. That's our like snake print. Look how cool. This will also work like a beautiful neutral in your wardrobe. And then I do have it available in dark pewter. This is fabulous for the holidays in that Carly. That with like a black pant and like a little sequence blazer from Joan Rivers. Oh, so good. $92.99 gets them home, which they're normally $129. We're talking leather, Vince Camuto. Bethany, I'm so glad I took my shoes off when I stopped at your house. <laughs> this is the perfect one when you're going to somebody's house because you yes. can flip them right off at the door, right? I wore this shoe all day today. I kid you not because it is that perfect transitional shoe for right now when the weather is a little bit cooler in the morning but then warms up later in the day so you've got your toes covered but you still have that that kind of breathability i love a mule for that but i love that this one is a heeled mule because sometimes a mule can be very flat and this one gives you that nice kind of block heel shape i love that it has that slant edge to it so it's mm -hmm. not a complete like straight line it looks very kind of architectural very contemporary it's about two and three quarters of an inch, but that, that nice block shape is giving you so much stability. Mm -hmm. And then look at the beautiful clean vamp. Like you've got that gorgeous ruching. It gives you the softness. You can see the quality of the leathers and the suede. A little bit of a snip toe, so it feels fresh, but it does look beautiful under, whether you're wearing like an ankle pant or maybe you have a boot cut mm -hmm. pant on, it'll look like you're wearing a boot. You can see it would just like cover that but you still have the flexibility of wearing a mule, which sometimes yeah. just feels nice to have your foot half in a shoe and half out. Plus it comes back pretty far on the foot, so it holds it in place for you. And then we did give you some uh, goring on the inside. So it has a little bit of a stretch to it because of that goring. It's so comfortable. It so cute. Bethany, yes. it is so comfortable. If I did not see the shoe and I'm just going off feel, I would not expect the heel to be as high as it is. Right. And part of that is because not only the block heel that you were talking about, but also the way the footbed is done. Right, we really are thinking not only about how the shoe looks and the style of it, which is really the bread and butter of our brand, but our designers are working harder than ever to make these shoes feel as good as they look. So when mm -hmm. you step your foot into it, you can wear it all day long whether you're wearing it to work or you're wearing it to religious services or you're wearing it on the weekend with like a cool t-shirt and like a denim, a, some jeans and yeah. like a, a leather jacket. Like this is that shoe that you can wear out to dinner and wear it all night long and just look as great as you want to. I think a lot of times we're told, oh, here have a tall shaft boot, have the mid shaft right. boot, have the shoe booty, have the slide, have the heel. And if you're working with a budget, as let's say all of us are, I said, mm -hmm. I can't have all those shoes. What I love about this mule is it fills a few of those gaps all in one. And I can right. still wear and it with like skirts and dresses. Okay, so this one's the snake, which is really cool. Ivory snake. So it's an embossed leather that's gorgeous, beautiful leather. Just got, has a lot of texture and a lot of uh, visual interest, mm -hmm. but all those great neutrals. So I think you could wear this with black pants, jeans, even your winter whites just as easily. I think yeah. you'll be able to wear that with everything. I have it on with the mold. Well, I could wear it easily with the mold wine pants mm -hmm. that I have on from Logo. They're called the Anywhere. <gasps> they were in our show. We'll remind you. you them later. They're really good. These are the ones that I'm wearing in, am I saying this wrong? Reishi. Reishi. I totally mm -hmm. botched it. Reishi. Okay. Thank you. So that's the only one that's suede. You can see it's just as soft as the leathers. Reishi is a mushroom, but it, think of it as almost like a chestnut brown color. I've been pronouncing the mushroom wrong then. Uh, okay, well, Reishi. Okay. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> okay, then the black. Oh, look at that I love leather. That black. I know, look at the pebble leather, how soft and supple those ruches are right on the front. And I think you'll wear that with literally everything. Yeah, leg lengthening because of that silhouette mm -hmm. that Bethany was talking about. So black, Reishi. 
and then the snake. We also have that dark pewter as well. I don't want you to forget about it. It's $92.99. Bethany, what's the first Christmas movie you're going to watch? Oh, it's probably National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Okay. All right. We know the line by heart. My husband and I are terrible to watch it with because we literally can say every line. But we're big Home Alone fans as well. Oh, see, that's a good one. Ah! Okay, uh, Bethany, <laughs> thank you. My kids do love Home Alone. Okay, that's a good Christmas one. John, do you like Christmas movies? Yeah, I love them. John loves them. Oh, Julia Carely says the first thing that she does after her Christmas tree is up.